everyone in the article entitled Latin Americans find themselves Bramford Burns gives the perspectives of several Latin American intellectuals who see the need for Latin America to define its own identity by embracing its Indian, Black, and European ancestry in spite of the perceived threat that the United States possess. Unfortunately, the ideals of most of these intellectuals are an illusion since race still determines social and cultural standing with whites at the top. When the history of Latin America is reduced to the study of the Inca and the Aztec, it negates the identity and the historical complicities of the many cultures in the region. as they are called, are often diminished by the white dominant culture, creating indeed a low self-esteem and sense of inferiority in them, because they are defined in terms of the dominant culture. Brazilian historian Manuel Querino uh, reminds us of the contributions that Africa made to the formation of Brazil uh, to Argentina, Argentinian nationalist Ricardo Rojas. The region is the synthesis of <coughs> European and Indian uh, values. By contrast, Mexican writer and philosopher Jose Vasconcelos asserts that the mixture or mestizaje of the races in the Americas has given rise to a new race he calls La Raza Cosmica. As the Secretary of Education, he embarked in a quest to elevate the heritage of the Indians by commissioning muralist artists like Clemente Orozco and Diego Rivera to work on public works are in the 1930s. Uruguayan writer Eduardo Galeano points out that the United States has historically supported pro-American military dictatorships with the excuse of defending democracy, while at the same time crashing through Latin American democracies because they don't serve its economic or political interests. Also, he says, that countries in the northern hemispheres accumulate wealth at the expense of the growing po uh, poverty in the rest of the world.
Virgin of Guadalupe symbolizes the mestiza mestizaje and galvanizes the spirit of the Raza Cosmica that Vasconcelos talked about. Her image has served as a nationalistic purpose to define the Mexican identity. It would seem easier to define identity for countries like Mexico, uh, Guatemala, Ecuador, Bolivia, or Peru that have large mestizaje and Indian population, or countries like Argentina, Chile, and Uruguay with mostly white populations. Then what we have in Latin America are three groups with different interests. Those who are express their identity as Europeans, Amerindians, or African. to say uh, that little has changed since the early 20th century when those intellectuals began with, the, with their quest to define a Latin American consciousness. It is easier uh, to define a national identity than a Latin American identity. Thank you very much. <laughs>